hello guys welcome to my channel so this is like the most requested tutorial on this channel right now so i felt i should put it out there so i'm going to be dropping the link for the cutting of this um tutorial so i'll be dropping the link so you can go through it and you know let's just get to you know the sewing parts of this tutorial so here is the pattern i used to achieve this so I went in to cut out my um, nets, which is um, the mesh fabric that I used for the background of the dress. So I went to cut two pieces each for that. So the difference here is that if you look at the previous tutorial, um, I didn't open the mid part of, you know, the center front. So I went in to, you know, just open it up like that. So I went in to divide the pattern by two, just open it up in the mid parts like that this is just for ease of sewing so i'm going to be explaining that to you later so here had the cup piece that i cut out from our pattern our cup pattern so i went into her interface into them so the main for the main cup which is going to be outside i had it stay and i also used um the other interfacing which is the wording piece so i use that for the main fabric and i also went in to you know remove the excess seam allowance i went i made sure i removed for you know the the dart side no i didn't remove for the dart side i made sure i removed for the under parts which i'm just you know showing you in the video and i also removed for the upper parts which is the parts that goes into the yoke which is also the neckline so i made sure i removed the excess wording for that part and i also cut the lining as well so that was the lining piece so i'm just showing you how many pieces i cut for all that so this is the mesh part and I'm going to be showing you how to achieve it. So I went in to notch all the parts that I want my bonings to, you know, stay on. So you, if you remember from the cutting tutorial, we, you know, we highlighted the points for our boning and I also explained the fact that you don't have to cut open, you know, your pieces. You don't have to cut open your pattern into pieces. You can as well achieve your boning this way, which is what I'm doing here. So I make sure I notch the points where I want my bone lines to sit. So I went here with my fabric like that. So I'm using a white fabric to achieve this i used um duchess fabric so i went in to cut 1.5 inches wide and you know i started sewing it like that so now to go in with my boning i make sure i you know bond the edges of my boning so it doesn't prick now i'm just going to place it in the middle like that i'm going to fold the fabric over it and i'm going to sew it down so guys there are different methods of you know achieving the boning channels and this method i like using this method especially if i'm working with you know mesh mesh fabric because i don't want to start you know fixing my boning inside after i had created my channels because um the nets can be quite soft and it's the boning might start you know tearing the net so this method ensures that um the boning stays inside and i don't have to start you know fixing it inside So here is the second channel that I'm going to create. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did for the first one. And I'm going to be repeating, repeating it on the second line. So I used 1.5 inch wide for the strip. And I just proceeded to fold it into two and I started sewing, making sure that it is on the line that I notched previously. So here I'm just turning it, flipping it to the other side to make sure that I sew it up my boning. 
guys if you are just joining us welcome to our channel welcome to easy cutting please do subscribe if you found the video helpful please like the video drop your comments i'll be looking forward to your questions so here i'm just going ahead to you know fix the sword So the same way I did the first two, I'm just repeating the same process for the third one. Remember the more boning channels you had, the more your uh, outfit is going to look more snatched. So here I'm going to go in to make sure I iron it very well. So I'm going to be trimming off the excess first then I'll go in with my iron. So I know some people like to iron their boning first before you know sewing but I prefer it like this so now once I am done with this I'm going to be going into iron so I make sure I press the um, lines very well with my iron so here is looking neat and you know flat now I'm going to go ahead to do the other parts the same way remember we already cut open our center front into two and we're going to be adding another bone channels to the mid part but I'm going to be showing you how to you know achieve that later on so here is the yoke part of the dress and I'm going to, you know, be going in to, you know, turn the neckline. So here is the neckline. I'm going to be turning that and I'm going to be sewing on the armhole part as well. Remember, it is a sleeveless dress. So I'm going to be sewing on the armhole part too. So once I was done doing that, here is what it was looking like when I was done turning it to the right side. And I made sure that I hold everything down. So now I'm going to be working on the cup part of the dress. So here I'm working with a lace fabric. So I want to secure the lace onto my first lining piece. So I went in with my machine to just you know secure it down like that so i am going to be securing all four parts of the cup so this is the second part so i'm going to be securing that too So securing your lace fabric helps um gives your cup a neat finishing because you don't want you don't want it not looking not relaxing on you know your lining piece. So here I think I was done you know securing all four pieces and I was just trying to arrange my cup so I know which side is the mid part and which side goes to you know the side. So here I was just joining the dots together. So this is a single dot um bracket. So I'm just going in to hold my seam allowance which I used um 0 0.5 inch and I just went in to sew it like that. So once I was done sewing I notched it so it relaxes very well. So that is what it was looking like. So guys, remember the cutting part of this tutorial. I already dropped the link so you can check the description for, you know, the link to the tutorial. So, you know, you need to get a rounded bra pattern. You need to contour your um bra very well 
so you need to contour the cup part very well to you know to make sure it sits inside your brush very well so if you are interested in how we achieve that you can check you know the cutting part which is the part one of this video so here is what the second part was looking like so i'm going to go into you know iron it so you're going to flip it to the wrong side and you're going to use the bust arm to you know just iron it and make sure everything is intact so here is the lining piece i'm going to be going ahead to do the same thing to the lining piece i'm going to be sewing in the dart as well So I did not add any interfacing to the lining piece. Um, this is optional. I would actually prefer you had interfacing to your lining piece, preferably a strong one like Art Stay. I have a tutorial where I explained that, and um, it is quite helpful i'll try to link it in the description so you can see how to you know neatly um add stay to the lining piece of your bra cup so here i was done sewing all four pieces so one piece is the main fabric and the other one is the lining so i'm just showing you how to open up your dots and you know sew open up your dart and iron sorry so here i was done ironing and i also went in to add a bra cup to the ready-made bra cup to this um to my cup piece so this is optional you may or may not use a bra cup depending on you so here i was just placing it to see if it fits inside the cup the way i wanted to then i realized it wasn't fitting enough so i went in to add more that to it so now it's okay like that so you're going to go in to you know add um emming gum so you know just secure the bra up to it like that so here i was done securing it with my aiming gum and i also made sure it didn't go into that same allowance by the down part so remember you need to cut off all those seam allowance because you're going to be turning that part later and you'll be understanding the reason why i did not let any of my interfacing go into that part so here i brought out the down part and i made sure that i check if everything was aligning so from the that part in the middle i checked to one side and i checked to the other side then for the yoke part as well i made sure that the dart points meet and i also checked if everything was aligning so once i see that it was correct i went in to start working on my yoke part and also the down part so here i was trying to you know join it then i realized i was joining the right side to the right side so remember that all the sewing needs to be on the right side so this is the right way to join it so you join it in a way that your sewing is showing on the right side not on the wrong side so i started by joining the v parts like that i made sure that i left like 0.2 inches on the starting point and also on the end point i didn't join it entirely through so now i'm going to you know be joining the other piece together the same way i did the first part
so here I was done joining the second part the same way making sure I did not sew all through remember please don't forget it is very very important so here is what it was looking like now I'm going to be joining the down parts like that so I'm just going to hold it like that I'm going to start from the 0.2 inches that I left behind and I'm going to sew it in like that. So this tutorial is actually very time consuming, not that it's time consuming but once you just follow the step by step on how i did this you should be able to you know make yourself one in no time so here is what it was looking like when i was done you know joining it so i'm going to go in with my scissors to just trim it off so that part is not too bulky for when i start you know placing my boning channels so here i want to start placing them so i'm going to start with the v parts first one part of the v part actually so i'm going to be sewing it down first making sure i don't start from the starting point i'm going to be leaving like 0.2 inches So once I reach that point, I'm going to be putting my boning. The boning is actually quite small, yes, because that's the size for that part. So I'm just going to be flipping it over like that and I'm going to be sewing it down. Please don't forget to burn your boning with your lighter so it doesn't prick you. So here I was done with that. I'm going to be doing the other side the same way. So the only difference is this is going to go all the way down. So I'm going to be sewing it like that. Just watch closely the way I am doing it. Guys, if you have not subscribed at this point, please do subscribe to our channel thank you for joining us thank you for watching our videos thank you for you know engaging on our channel we appreciate you thank you so much so here is what it was looking like when i was done now i'm going to be going over my boning i made sure that i born it before i went in to place it So can you see me, you know, separating the yoke from it like that? So that means I'm not sewing all the way through. I'm not starting from the starting point. I made sure I lift some inches, maybe like 0.2 inches before I started sewing. You are going to be understanding the importance of that later on. So because this part is very very important, I try not to you know skip the part so you can understand clearly the way I did it. So I apologize if the video is quite lengthy. So here is it. I'm almost done with my boning channels. So here is everything. I went in to iron the mid part as well, making sure that everything was, you know, relaxed and um, neat. So here is my cup piece. I went in to place the lining inside like that because I want to trim off the excess from the lining. So most times the lining appear, you know, uh, more than the main fabric um so you're going to be trimming off the excess but be careful not to trim off too much
so when i'm done with this i'm going to be showing you how you're going to you know fix it into um the space for it so here i think i'm done i'm okay with what it was looking like here so now i'm going to be placing my lining piece first remember we're sewing to the right side everything needs to be out so we can knitting the edges we don't want our sewing inside because the material is quite you know light so you want all your sewing to be outside so you can knitting the edges so here i'm just going in to sew round like that so remember this is a lining piece so i went in to sew in my lining piece first so once i almost get to the starting point i'm going to be stopping like 0.2 inches remember 0.2 or 0.5 inches this is very very important um i'm going to be explaining that very very soon so here the next thing i did was to bring you know the main cup piece and i'm going to be joining that to the upper part so before i did that i went to you know pin my lining piece to the yoke part like that this is just to secure it together so you can as well pin it all the way to the armhole area but i i just stopped there so now i'm going to be placing the main fabric inside like that so the main fabric is going to be underneath and the yoke is going to be in the middle and the lining piece is going to be on top like that so you're going to secure it down with pins please use pins i'm not used to using pins but please use pins so here i'm going to be sewing it round like that So when I was sewing this too, I made sure that I stopped before the finish line. I left like 0.5 inches. So here I'm just flipping it over to show you what it looks like when I was done. So here for the armhole area, I'm just going to go in to bring that and just sew it like that. So once I was done, I made sure I trimmed off the excesses. So remember, we don't want anything to be showing outside. So I went in to use my mesh to just, you know, secure the raw edges like that. So once I was done, it's time to, you know, knitting up my bra cup. So here is the remaining 0.5 inch that I was telling you to leave behind while sewing so you are going to be using that 0.5 inches to you know turn your pattern your cup piece sorry and you are going to be using it to top stitch on the lining piece so that is what i was just doing here so i made sure that i top stitch everything neatly So I'm um, almost at um, the V part here. So I'm just showing you how you're going to, you know, tuck that inside. That is the 0 0.5 inch we left behind. So you're going to use that to tuck it in and you're just going to sew it like that. So that is what it was looking like. Neat and beautiful. And you're just going to do the other side the same way we did this part so now to the draping of draping um now this i'm just going to be draping flats because i don't have a pinnable dress form 
so here he's how i started with my draping so i make sure that i secure um my fabric with pins i make sure i started securing the starting point with pins i envisioned what i wanted it to look like and you know i started securing it with pins so i make sure it passed through exactly where i wanted it to pass through and making sure that the net underneath is not you know folding so i don't stick the pin um the way i don't want it to look like so just make sure everything underneath is relaxed so before you start you know going in with your pins so once i was done with that i'm going to be draping on the cup part so that is just what i did for that part just go in step by step slowly till you get what you want and make sure you use your pins a lot use lots of pins so all these parts that we are adding pins we're going to be going into and tack them later on so you need to you know just slowly attack them you need to use your invisible thread to you know attack them just only the points that has the parts that has the pins you're going to be attacking them so here i'm almost done with the dripping so can you see the way i'm just doing it step by step till i get what i want so just take your time be gentle with it it goes like the good thing about draping is it will always go in the direction you want it to go so just take your time with it so here is i was just going in to trim the sides the two sides making sure that i didn't trim exactly on you know the same allowance so i made sure i left some sides so now i'm just going in with my machine to just hold that down so as i am sewing with my machine i made sure the material underneath was not folding i was pulling the material underneath but not too much at the same time so here before i get to the end like that i'm going to be stopping and i'm not going to sew everything all the way down because i'm going to be using that part to join to my skirt part so here for the armhole area i just went in to flip it in like that and i made sure that i changed my thread to an invisible thread and i just sewed it down like that so once i was done this is the back i'm going to be joining the um yoke part to it like that i'm going to be turning the sides as well so here is what it was looking like when i was done joining the yoke part and here is the skirt piece and remember this part that i said you should keep which is the part that we use to cut our astrometry design so we're going to be using it so here i was just cutting it off and i'm going to be joining it to my upper bodies so i made sure i notched the middle and here I was just joining the skirt part and the upper part together making sure that all my sewing was inside and that was what it was looking like when I was done joining so I went ahead to do the back the same way so the only difference with this and our pattern was this does not have a laced up back I used the zip at the back so I just went in to, you know, join the sides and also join the shoulder and I fixed my zipper. So thank you for joining us. See you next time.